The Pilatus PC-24 features a complete thrust management system comprised of an auto throttle as well as a thrust director. When the auto throttle is armed, motorized servos automatically position the thrust levers to maintain the desired speed or thrust setting. The auto throttle enunciator is displayed on the PFD on the right side of the airspeed tape. The enunciator displays the current auto throttle mode and shows if the system is armed, active, or disengaged. The auto throttle works in one of two primary modes, thrust mode, where it sets a desired thrust setting, and speed mode, where it adjusts the thrust to maintain a desired speed. The auto throttle can be engaged for all phases of flight from takeoff to approach and is typically disconnected just before landing. Pilot workload is further reduced with the use of pre-calculated FMS speeds for each phase of flight, which the auto throttle can automatically maintain. For more information on pre-calculated speeds, refer to the FMS speeds on the Pilatus PC24 video. The auto throttle can be engaged while in flight or armed on the ground before takeoff. Let's look at a takeoff using the auto throttle system. Before takeoff, press the auto throttle button on the guidance panel. The green light above the auto throttle button will not illuminate because the system is not yet engaged. However, the auto throttle enunciator displays a cyan AT indicating that the auto throttle is armed for takeoff. When the thrust levers are moved above 50% N1, the auto throttle becomes active, the enunciator displays AT thrust, and the system will automatically set the thrust to the computed takeoff rating. During a takeoff from 60 knots to 400 feet AGL, the auto throttles are in thrust hold mode and the servos are de-energized. The pilot, however, can always make a manual thrust reduction at any time. After takeoff, select the vertical mode to be used for the climb. If flight level change is selected, the flight director will pitch to maintain V2 plus 10 knots until the flaps are retracted. The auto throttle mode changes with the selected vertical modes of the flight guidance system. If the pilot chooses to climb in flight level change or VFLC mode, the auto throttle will stay in thrust mode. The FMS manual select knob controls the climb speed in flight level change. If the FMS manual knob is set to FMS, the aircraft will fly the pre-calculated FMS speed schedule. For more information regarding the FMS speed schedule, refer to the video FMS speeds on the Pilatus PC-24. For climbs with large altitude changes, the thrust will typically be set to the max climb position. If the knob is set to manual, the speed bug is displayed on the airspeed tape and the pilot can manually set the speed that the auto throttle will target. In this case, since we are in a climb, the auto throttle enunciator indicates thrust mode and the auto throttle will set climb thrust as the aircraft pitches for the selected speed. When the aircraft is in level flight or in vertical speed mode, the airspeed hold mode is active. In this mode, the auto throttle sets thrust to maintain the selected speed reference and the auto throttle enunciator will display AT speed. In this example, the pilot wants to climb at a vertical speed of 3,000 feet per minute. When the vertical speed mode is selected, the auto throttle changes to speed mode and adjusts the thrust to maintain a given airspeed, while the flight director adjusts pitch to maintain the requested vertical speed. If the auto throttle cannot maintain the selected speed at any time, AT limit is displayed. In this case, at a vertical speed of 5,000 feet per minute, the aircraft cannot maintain the selected airspeed and AT limb is displayed. To disengage the auto throttle at any time, press the auto throttle button or push the auto throttle disconnect buttons on the thrust levers. The auto throttle enunciator will flash in amber and an oral warning will sound to alert the crew that the auto throttle has been disconnected. Auto throttle. Auto throttle. To re-engage the auto throttle during flight, 
simply press the auto throttle button on the flight controller and verify that the auto throttle enunciator is displayed on the PFD in green. The Pilatus PC24 features a thrust director, which provides valuable thrust information to the pilot even when the auto throttles are disconnected. Just as a flight director provides aircraft pitch and roll guidance to maintain the desired flight path, the thrust director provides guidance on thrust lever position to maintain the desired speed. It is displayed regardless of auto throttle engagement and is especially useful when the auto throttle is disengaged. The thrust director is made up of two symbols, the magenta reference line and the green circle. The magenta reference line is the N1 target bug, which represents the calculated thrust setting to maintain the selected speed. The green circle is the N1 command bug, which represents the actual thrust set with the thrust levers. If the thrust setting is higher than required for the desired speed, the circle will be displayed above the magenta line. And conversely, if the thrust setting is too low, the green circle is displayed below the magenta line. When the correct thrust is set, the green circle will overlay the magenta line. The Pilatus PC24 Auto Throttle System has two additional modes to increase safety and reduce workload during critical phases of flight. The Emergency Descent Mode mitigates the risk of cabin depressurization. If a cabin depressurization is detected above 30,000 feet, the automatic flight control system engages the emergency descent mode, which automatically descends the aircraft to 15,000 feet. The auto throttles are automatically engaged, the auto throttle enunciator displays ATEDM, and the thrust levers are brought to idle while the aircraft descends at VMO. The go around auto throttle mode automatically sets maximum thrust during a go around. If the auto throttle is armed during an approach, and a go-around vertical mode is selected, the auto throttle will automatically set the thrust to the active upper N1 takeoff rating. The thrust management system on the Pilatus PC24 is a powerful tool which enhances pilot situational awareness and reduces workload. But it is vital that there is a thorough understanding of the system and how it functions before using it.